What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, my name is Mike, this is Driveway Dreams. Uh, and today, the topic of the video today is gonna be uh, tire markers. So I've seen this a lot lately on uh, cars on YouTube and uh, around town here where I live. I like it on some cars, hate it on other cars. So we're gonna give it a try. If you don't like it, uh, you can put acetone on them and uh, it comes right off. So if you do it to your vehicle you'll, uh, and you don't like it, it is removable. So not a big deal. Uh, we're, we're gonna get the car up on ramps because uh, I'm old and fat and I don't want to lean over that far. So we'll get the car up on ramps. Uh, I'll uh, get everything I need to do it and we'll get started. I got the car up on the ramps now and uh, looking at the tires originally I was wanting to do uh, the P0 Nero and then I was hoping that the Pirelli logo would be on this side but it's not so you got one here and one there but then you have nothing on this side so I guess the only thing I'm gonna be able to do is the P0 Nero sign the Pirelli logo and then I guess I'll have to do the tire size to even it out. Cause if not going down the road, you're gonna have something on this third of the tire, something on this third of the tire, and then you'd have a big blank spot on this side and going down the road when they're rotating, it'd look dumb. So I guess I'll uh, do that also. Uh, other than that, unless you guys have uh, some kind of uh, suggestion, that's the only thing that I know to do. So we'll get this tire done do it with just the two first and then we'll uh, come back for the tire size if need be but I think that's I think that's the route we're gonna have to go uh, to do this the only thing you need is obviously uh, the paint marker and then you need uh, isopropyl alcohol and a rag so that way you can write wipe down the lettering so that way uh, the paint will ad adhere to it better so I'm gonna get these things uh, wiped off with the alcohol and then I'll get started on the, the paint and see uh, just how, how well it works. All right, so we got it up here. Uh, the reason for the alcohol, you're wiping down the tire and that's supposed to get all of uh, the tire shine or the grease or anything else that you may have collected on your tires. See, look at that. So you want to do that for sure. Get, get as much of this stuff off as you can. Anything to help it stick, make it look better so you don't waste your money. So I'll get this done on the rest of the tires and then we'll get back to the paint. All right guys, once you get the alcohol on, on there and it dries, uh, the other thing you gotta do is you gotta shake this pen. It says for a minute, I guess to get all the paint all mixed up, make sure it's all nice and good. Uh, the other thing you'll need is uh, piece of uh, cardboard so that way you can get the paint to flow before you start doing this. Uh, I have never done this before so we're gonna go uh, first try and see what it does so that way you can see just exactly how well this works or how well it does not work right off. So. Alright so here we go. So far it's going on pretty pretty good, pretty easily. The only thing I'm worried about is uh, having the stroke marks. So the first pin is empty. I got the rear one done completely and the front one done partially. 
and these markers are roughly ten dollars a piece and from I don't know 15 feet away it don't look too bad but when you get up close it kind of looks like a first grader was uh, coloring on my tires so I don't know that I'm gonna do the rest of them uh, I really I I just don't think it's gonna be worth the money uh, I'm gonna have to buy two more pens so another twenty dollars so roughly I'd be all in forty uh, like forty four dollar forty five dollars for all four tires when uh, I think the uh, tire stickers are a hundred dollars I could have got all four of them done and I know that they would be solid color they would look professionally done uh, the only thing I do is line them up correctly and it'd be good I mean it's kind of a bummer I thought this would be a good video and uh, now now I'm starting to not think so so I kind of think I'm gonna take it off see like I said it just doesn't look that great I mean if you get a side profile of the car don't look too bad but kind of bummed I thought this was gonna work it's not I don't like it maybe if you had a little bit more uh, artistic ability maybe but apparently I uh, color like a first grader so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do I don't know, I might have to go buy some acetone or see if the wife's got some nail polish remover or something like that. But I don't think this is going to stay. I just, I don't know, from here it don't look too bad. But then, like I said, man, you get up here and it looks terrible. I just do not. I just don't think that's gonna fly for me I just uh, it doesn't look uh, professional enough it doesn't look let me ask just doesn't look the way I wanted it to look it's not good enough e either my skills are that bad or or the brand of pen I bought is not good I'm not sure but my my take is uh, a no-go. Yeah, it's like one of them, uh, oh, what's that uh, company called? Mako, a uh, 2020 paint job. Looks good 20 feet away or 20 mile an hour. But uh, other than that, you wouldn't want to do it. So, like I said, bummed. Uh, this brand marker was from AutoZone. It is a Type S tire marker so for uh my my recommendation it'd be a no-go unless you just have uh our artistic abilities that that i obviously do not possess uh if this video helped you out at all uh give me a subscribe a like share this with your friends and uh hopefully next time i have a little better uh review of something because this uh this just did not turn out so until next time, you guys have a great day.